patient is having fever with chills and rigor and if you go for laboratory investigation there is raised ESR patient is having leukocytosis this is in general clear second thing anywhere in the body if pus collection is there and if it is located superficially we go for incision and drainage and we give antibiotics but if it is deep seated infection deep seated pus filled cavity in that case what we do we are going for percutaneous drainage so ultrasound or ct guided percutaneous drainage or sometimes catheter drainage so this is the basic principle we are going to follow so here what is the most common presenting symptom you tell me since there is pus filled cavity in the liver so obviously this patient is having what fever with chills fever with chills this is the most common symptom followed by abdominal pain so there is fever with chills followed by abdominal pain in majority of cases you can see the cavity is single and we already discussed that which lobe is most commonly involved it is most commonly involving which lobe right lobe so there is single cavity it is involving right lobe we discussed that there is involvement of biliary tract that's the most common route and there is obstruction so obviously what is the most common lft abnormality the patient is having raised alp most common lft abnormality there is the classic presentation of pyogenic liver abscess what is the classic presentation there should be fever since there is cbd obstruction the patient should be having jaundice and there is right upper quadrant pain and tenderness but this classic presentation it is seen only in 10% patients so the classic presentation where the patient is having fever patient is having jaundice and right upper quadrant pain and tenderness it is seen only in 10% patients another question we already discussed in what percentage of patient there is jaundice 25% patients are having jaundice another situation you can see there is liver and its close relation is there with diaphragm so whenever there is involvement of diaphragm such patients are having cough and dyspnea so if there is involvement of diaphragm in pyogenic liver abscess if there is involvement of diaphragm because of involvement of diaphragm the patients are having cough and dyspnea there is cough and dyspnea second situation there is one rare complication which is only reported in klebsiella hepatic abscess rare complication and that is known as endogenous endophthalmitis it is rare only seen in 3% of population especially in which patients it is seen the patients who are suffering from diabetes mellitus here if you want to preserve the visual function the best chance to preserve the visual function in this case we have to go for early diagnosis and treatment so what's the name name of this condition yes it is endogenous this is endogenous endophthalmitis endogenous endophthalmitis clear it is classically associated with klebsiella infection so klebsiella hepatic abscess it is associated it is a rare condition seen in 3% of patients common in the patients who are having diabetes mellitus so early diagnosis and treatment if you go for early diagnosis and treatment this gives us the best chance to preserve the visual function so what is the most common finding on examination we discussed the most common finding there is fever and what else there is right upper quadrant tenderness so there is fever and the patient is having right upper quadrant tenderness we already discussed that in what percentage of patients there is jaundice jaundice is seen in 